The church is a family of families and family is so important in the life of the church all over the world and especially in Ireland. There's still a very strong ethic of family in the Irish society and indeed in the church. But one of the things we're finding in Ireland is that for a long time our church was very much a clerical church. It depended upon the priest, upon the bishop. And now we want to involve more and more our lay faithful in the life of the church. But how to do that? Of course, the most important thing to do is to affirm lay people in their own baptismal calling. And we're trying to encourage our lay people to realise that they are called through baptism to play their part in the life of the church. What is God calling them to do? What is God calling you to do in your parish? in your family, your community, and your church. Of course, in order to be able to open our lay faithful up to that possibility, we as priests and bishops have to be able to let go so that we can let our lay faithful play a full part in the life of their church. As we're preparing in Ireland for the world meeting of the families, one particular dimension of this that we wish to encourage is for our lay faithful to realise that it is in the family that the church really exists. The family is the domestic church and our lay faithful are the evangelizers. They introduce their children to the faith, they help them to grow up and develop a personal relationship with Jesus in their lives. What better life, what better way to play your part in the life of the church than to hand on the faith to your children. So over the next number of months, as we prepare in Ireland for the World Meeting of the Families, we invite you to reflect on the importance of family, the dicastery of laity, family and life in the Holy See is trying to enable us to reflect on these matters and we look forward to continuing to do so.